Let's take a few minutes to run through all the new enhancements that are delivered with Pro Concrete Connect Edition Update 6. Let's begin with The PC toggles now have an additional function of Select Rebar Owner. This tool in combination with the Rebar Selection toggles will allow the users to select Rebar or Rebar Set and will highlight the Rebar as well as its concrete owner, thus allowing for more clarity during the modeling and design review process. The automatic lap functionality is now enabled for spiral ties in the column reinforcement tool. One can choose from the available lap methods like length, bar diameter and number of turns. Also, there is an availability to set up the required stock length to apply these lap settings. The pad footing reinforcement tool now comes with an improved clone button functionality. After modeling and attaching the reinforcement of a pad footing, one can then use the clone button and replicate the rebar assembly for other pad footings in the model. All this without having to return to the pad footing reinforcement dialog box, thus effectively saving the extra number of keystrokes involved, resulting in a considerable reduction in modeling time. A new save button is added to the concrete pad footing tool. This new feature will allow to place a pad footing and then accept the dimensions to prevent any further changes in this footing. Users can then move forward to place another footing with different dimensions to other columns in their model without affecting the recently inserted pad footing, thus effectively saving a lot of modeling time. The fudge bar function is now enhanced, including the capability to fudge the entire bar from its position. This feature also has the option to fudge the bar for just one leg of rebar shape, allowing for better control when detailing. Now, longitudinal bars can also be fudged, either choosing them as single bar or a set of bars. A new button has been added to the stirrups and ties creation tab in the beam and column reinforcing tool, enabling users to rotate the position of the end conditions of these stirrups easily. This will reduce the keystrokes used for modeling, thereby helping to save remodeling efforts. Update 6 has a new feature of Inherit Properties introduced in the Level Defaults tool. One can find this in the Miscellaneous tab of this tool. When checked on, this feature will allow the 2D rebars in the drawing model to inherit the display properties from the corresponding 3D rebar levels on placing section callouts and generation of 2D drawings, thus giving better control of the drawings produced. Currently, this feature allows inheritance of the display properties like color, weight, and line style. Thanks for watching. I hope you have found this video helpful. You will find a few more ways to get additional information for pro structures on your screen. If you want to see more such content, consider subscribing to our channel. Also, look out for our next exciting video in the series.